Upgrade your business tools with an American Express Business Platinum Card. Unlock over $1,000 per year in statement credits on select purchases in categories including tech, wireless, and recruiting. And so big expenses can deliver big benefits, you'll also earn one and a half times membership rewards points on single eligible purchases of $5,000 or more. Terms and points cap apply. Learn more at americanexpress.com slash business dash platinum. Amex Business Platinum, built for business by American Express. This is a Rogue Media Network podcast. The Waco History Podcast is sponsored by Brotherwell Brewing on Historic Bridge Street in Waco. Cross the Brazos and Waco. Welcome to the Waco History Podcast. We're going to air for you uh, over the next few months a, a special series of Waco History Living Stories. Uh, these were segments that were originally aired on KWBU here in Waco. Uh, they were produced by the Institute for Oral History editor, Michelle Holland, and narrated by two fabulous narrators, uh, Louis Mazze and Kim Patterson. And so these highlight oral histories from the collection of the Institute for Oral History at Baylor University, which I direct, which has been around since 1970 and has over a thousand interviews related to Waco and McLennan County history. And we're happy to highlight those here. Uh, this Living Stories segment gets into uh, those little creatures that bug us especially during the sum, summertime, insects and pests. And so here's the story of those who fought their own battles. Then the night came alive with gunfire. He knew that at last it had been found. As the rain pests, the creepy, crawly, buzzing kinds, are a year-round nuisance in Waco, but are especially present in summer months when they come out in full force and bring misery along with them. Louise Murphy describes her introduction to one such pest. I didn't know anything about roaches until we got an icebox. I got acquainted with Mr. Roach, and off and on all the years, we still have a problem with Mr. Roach because they can get in these cracks in the ground with their shift in there, and you cannot get rid of them. Well, what, what do you think it was about the icebox? That, that oh, they was full of them. They mm -hmm. loved that. It was the uh, coolness besides that. It had moisture down in under there, mm -hmm. and they clung to that. And I didn't know what there was until we got one, and I couldn't imagine what that was. She recalls an experience with bed bugs in the 1950s. Boy, they get in your bed, they get in your walls, mm -hmm. and they would get in the cracks of the, mm -hmm. under the house, the cracks and what have you. And what they do? When you go to sleep, oh, you couldn't sleep in them things that sucking the blood out of you. So uh, my dad said, oh, said, what have we got into? I said, bed bugs. Murphy explains that she and her father waged war on the unwanted guests by using DDT. I said, well, go to the uh, feed store and ask them if they got in. I heard that would just get rid of everything, our roaches and everything, which he did and brought it in, and we made a solution, and I got a paintbrush. Now, I went around every window. I went around our mattresses mm -hmm. on the beds. I went around the baseboards, mm -hmm. and every room mm -hmm. was painted, just like I painted the door facings and all with paint. I don't believe I had to do it twice. It just once, and mm -hmm. I got rid of them. Boy, I want you to know, I kept that stuff as long as I could because I didn't want it anymore, right, right. you know. But you, right. the roaches will come back. Thomas Wayne Harvey tells how his family dealt with mosquitoes. Every once in a while, they would they would get bad, but we'd burn cork, like a cork in a, mm -hmm. a fishing cork. Same kind of, uh, you could burn that, just, it, it would burn slow, you know. And it, that thing would burn for hours, and you could see it out there, and it would, for some reason, they could stay away from that cork. Charles Armstrong recalls a pest that took advantage of the open windows during the summer months. Flies was, was a nuisance. And my family would, um, would give me so much for flies, for killing flies, see. And I, I went around the household time with two flies waters. And uh, saving flies, put them in a jar and save them, see. And they'd pay so much 
the, the implies. My brothers, they were pretty strict on me. They caught me cheating, they'd get after me, see. Uh -huh. Insect pests are unfortunately a part of life and annoyingly resilient. It's easy to understand how the urban legend began that says cockroaches are the only things that will survive a nuclear holocaust. Thanks for listening to the Waco History Podcast. Like what you heard? Subscribe, rate, and review our show on iTunes so we can reach more listeners. You can find show notes and info on every episode at wacohistorypodcast.com and more info on Waco's past at wacohistory.org. Our theme music, used with permission, is Cross the Brazos at Waco, performed by the late Billy Walker. For more info on Billy's music, go to billywalker.com. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time. This has been a Rogue Media Network production.